welcome to today's session. So we continue looking at the August 2022 Grade 12 GCE exams from the Examination Council of Zambia. And today's question of interest is question number four. So we've done question one, two, and three in the first three episodes. Then let us look at question number four in detail. So if you look at question Question number four has got nine marks, two, two, five. So let us see how we can get these nine marks for free. So let us just zoom in so that we only focus on question number four. So question number four leads, given that matrix N equals X2 to X6, find the value of X for which the determinant of a matrix N is 8. So the first thing is we need to understand what a determinant is. So if we are given a matrix, say A, A, B, C, D, then the determinant of this matrix is basically equal to A times D, okay, which is A, D, then minus b times c bc so this is what gives us a determinant so in the same principle let us apply this to answer this question so this is what you need to understand when asked to find the determinant you multiply a the diagonal then subtract by the second diagonal so in this case it will be x times 6 so it becomes 6x then minus 2x times 2 so which becomes 4x is basically equal to the determinant. So the determinant there is 8. So it will be 6 mi 6x minus 4x will remain with 2x equals to 8. Then we divide by 2, we divide by 2. So basically x is equal to 4. So basically this is how you get the first free 2 max. Okay, then the question goes on to say ends or otherwise write the n to the power negative 1. So what you are saying is find the inverse of the matrix n. That's what this implies. So for us to find the, the, the inverse, when you are given a matrix, the same way matrix a, which is a, b, C, D, then we know how to find the determinant, which is this one. So what we have is 1 over determinant, okay, a determinant of A. So we're trying to find the inverse of A. Then multiply by, what you do is you swap A and D. These, they swap positions. So we have D. Then you have A here, then B and C just change takes the opposite sign. So this is what we call the determinant. So determinant is this one, then you multiply these two, you get the inverse. So in a similar manner, let us look at A. Let us look at N. So N is this matrix. So N we found what is in x x is a 4 so 2 2 times x so is 8 then you have 6 there so to find the n inverse matrix we know what the determinant is the determinant is 8 we've been given so it's 1 over 8 then you multiply by you swap so now we are swapping wherever there is a 4 we are putting a 6 then a 4 comes where the 6 was. So we have a 4 there. Then 2 takes the opposite sign of, eight, of a positive 2 is a negative. The opposite sign of positive 8 is negative 8. Then like that. Then if you simplify further, we get basically 3 over uh, 3 over 4. Because 6 over 8 is 3 over 4 in the simplified form. Then we have... Uh, negative 2 over 8 is negative 1 over 4. Then ne negative 8 into, ne into 
or positive 8 into negative 8 is negative 1 then positive 8 into 4 is half so this is our basically inverse so that's how we get the other three second marks the three the other two marks so let us go to question b so question b leads solve the equation 5x square minus 9x minus 4 equals 0 giving your answer collect to two decimal places so again this question always is there and the formula is given to us on the second page of our exam paper so the one you are told to two decimal places or to a number of decimal places the formula that you use is uh, basically given is equal to x equals minus b plus or minus then you have b square minus 4ac then you have this square root then 2a where the general equation will be given to ax square plus bx plus c equals 0. So in this case, we have 5x square minus 9x plus, sorry, it's a negative. So have minus 4 is equal to 0. So what we know is a is basically equal to, in this case, a is this one, then b is this one, then c is that one. So a is equal to 5 then b is equal to negative 9. So you get the entire this and the sign. Then c, similarly, c, you also get the entire the sign, so which is negative 4. So once you get this, it's much more easier. Then it's just a matter of substituting. So what we have is x equals to whatever there is a b. So b is basically a, a negative. So b is a negative. In this case, it's a negative times negative. We have a positive, so we have 9, then plus or minus, then the square root. Then we have b squared, which is negative 9. We square it, then minus. We have 4 times, what is a? a is 5. Then what is c? is negative 4. Then over, uh, basically, 2 times 5 okay 2 times 5 then we end up with 9 plus or minus uh, we have 9 square is 81 then plus negative 4 times 5 times negative 4 is basically 80 then over 2 times 5 which is 10 then next we have 9 plus or minus then we have 81 plus 80, we have 161. Okay, so we have the square root of 161 over 10. So we end up with 9 plus or negative, 9 plus or minus. What's the square root of 161? So it's basically, if you use our calculator, calculator is allowed, is 12.6888. Uh, six to four decimal places over ten. Okay, then once we reach there, once we reach there, it's a matter of adding and subtracting. So adding and subtracting, what we get is basically x one equals basically nine plus twelve point six eight eight six over ten. Or x2 equals 9 minus 12.6, 88.6 over 10. Then when we divide, when we do this side, we, we get 21.6886 over 10. We end up with 2.1. Now, the question is asking us to leave the answer to two decimal places. So, our answer there becomes 0.7 as our x1. Then, our x2, when we subtract, 
will mean with basically minus 3 point uh, basically a 6 8 8 6 okay once we do that we divide by 10 then x becomes minus 0 point uh, 3 7 as to two decimal places as the value of x so basically this is how you get the free five marks and this question always carries five marks so just a matter of knowing how to identify this so remember the key part is if it's a negative you b becomes that or negative if this is a negative carries all that negative so thank you very much for joining us today